chilly. Right? Yeah, it's, it's cold in here. Cold. Blustery really Southern cold. California winds. It's, yeah. been, it's been 50 degrees. <laughs> 50 degrees. <laughs> Fahrenheit. For you, it was uh, raining oh last week. It was I, raining I last saw week. a polar bear outside our building. No, that's a lie. You're lying. Polar bear is a, is a term for a homeless person who's gone white oh, because yeah. he thought he saw a ghost. Then I saw a polar bear, that's too. polar bear, yeah. <laughs> and we have some of them living just behind the building. Old Spooky Joe, he spooky called him. Spooky Joe, the polar bear, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> gave him a 20. You gave him a 20? It's a 20 pack. You know, it would have been easier sending him that money. How would I have done that, James? Through the mail. That's right. Stamps. <laughs> With stamps.com, who is sponsor of this episode. They've actually got way more features than just mailing things. Tons more to offer you than just stamps. Uh, but we're going to hear more about that at the end of the show. Everyone text their dick pics these. This holiday season, print them out mail on a nice glossy and mail them to your. Did you, did you see the news? I'm gonna put this. In, put the, hey guys, this is my stand up. Hey, know. hey. Did you see the news? Uh, apparently, their send uh, text messages are now gonna have smell. What? Did you hear that? The scientists are working on sending scent over phones. That's good. We solved all other problems. You can't do that now. You can't smell anything on your phone right now. Yeah, I know new phones. I mean, you're gonna get a new phone in six months, right? Yeah. Imagine if you could smell it. So yeah. when your loved one says those hot breast shots, it, it smells like breast milk. Yeah. Mmm, breast milk. It's hot, baby. <laughs> All right, first question this week comes from uh, when he was bad. The Tooth Fairy collects teeth placed under the pillows of children. If you were a magical creature, what would you be and which body part would you harvest? Um, I would harvest butt hair. Everybody's got butt hair. I don't know if you guys know that. That's right. I love that part. And you only get it at a certain age. So once you grow up, you get butt hair. And then once, then you can start putting it underneath your pillow. And the fairy will then bring you condoms. Okay. <laughs> you yeah, but, if you get free, well, yeah, is, free I feel like this is a Ren and Stimpy cartoon that I saw a long time ago where this <laughs> morbidly a, obese man comes in wearing wings, takes the butt hair yep. thing off of Stimpy, Eats and him. puts it, yeah, puts it between his teeth oh, yeah, so flosses. they can do that shot and go. <laughs> I would create a mythical creature who comes in and picks up all those boogers that you think you got and then yeah. flicked away yep. secretly. Oh, I love those. And then during the night, the booger fairy will come in and take all the boogers and return cheese oh. to you. Fill, the, your, they, fill your fridge with cheese. They do the close up where he eats them and he goes. Yeah. <laughs> he stores them in the space between the seagulls. <laughs> Uh, mine would be the Hyman Heyman. Uh, oh, that's a great idea! So what you do is you take your your bloody panties and you put them on the. <laughs> what does he think? Know, you're about, yeah. No, you need a Hyman, not a bloody panties. What? No, after the Hyman breaks, right? What is you he do collecting is you take, the Hyman or bloody panties? Well, you get the blood from the bloody panties. How are you having sex? You do you take do you yeah. break the Hyman and then immediately slide the panties Strap back up. on? I so that usually way, happens during. Of blood? No, this is only for good girls when it happens during gymnast class. <laughs> 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 so you have to take the bloody panties when ah. Uh, What's his name? Hyman Harry Hayman. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, uh, <laughs> well, no, he, he takes the panties, he yeah. throws them in his bindle. <laughs> and he, uh, Which is the bindle, just one large bloody panty? Oh, yeah, well, it's, oh, it's yeah. the biggest one, yeah. And then he, and he leaves little girls a little copy of Phantoms right there on, on DVD. The Tooth Fairy is meant to tell, teach kids about the economy. Is it? Yeah. You put it under, you, you grow it, you pop it out, okay. you produce a good for the market, uh -huh. put it under that pillow, you get money oh, back. Okay, yeah, all right. Um, but I think we need to get kids introduced to the real form of money making early, which is mid-level marketing. Toenails. Fingernails, they grow all the time. You got too many of them. That's true. Put them under your pillow. Toenail fairy comes, takes one, gives you five back. And then you can give that to your friends. They put it under their pillows. Oh. And then they give you toenails for all the toenails you gave to them. Oh, wow. And before long, you're just swimming in toenails. It's the toenail fairy pyramid scheme. Can you call it Crip? Toe currency? I can and will. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> you joke, but women sell their soiled panties online, yeah, which no is talking I know, about we weren't talking about this. Like that. I'm just saying that's the thing that you can make indefinitely and get paid for. So we are in a weird way teaching people the wrong lessons at a young age. Because I don't want to talk about panties. When those smell texts come through, those soiled panties are gonna go through the floor. Uh, the market value is gonna be get destroyed. Next question from Wet Hot American Plumber. With Creed 2 revitalizing the beauty of training montages, what would be the exercises you do for your training montage? My training montage would be a normal boxing training montage, but totally naked. Because I don't know if you guys ever watched yourself work out when you're totally naked. There's a lot flopping around. I watch Bruce work out naked all the time. It's a, a sight to behold. Let me tell you, your balls are hanging down everywhere, mm -hmm. and yep. like there's <laughs> there's hair everywhere. Yeah. It's really really gross <laughs> yep. and terrible. And so I, I feel like it would be beautiful in, in, in a certain sense. Oh, that's nice. I guess I have kind of a realistic training montage. Every quarter, whenever we do our drunk game plays. And about the week before, I am training my body. Yeah. So like, there's a few days where I'm hungover, like the week before, I've like, just gotta get used to it, gotta figure it out. So every day I'm just Prepping doing a little yourself. bit, getting used to You're it. You're an alcoholic. 
but just for a week. So it's just to get back to normal. Yeah, for fun. And then, then I have to wean myself off of it until the next gameplay. Alcoholic. My montage will be nothing but hot yoga. Um, also Nate. Sweaty. It's really just downward dog, that's it. Sweat everywhere. Just one everywhere. long downward dog? Yeah. Okay. For about six weeks. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, wow, that's a long time. And then, yeah, you get that shot of like, sweat dripping off the balls, mm -hmm. off the dick, they balls see again. hamstrings quivering. Yeah. yeah, it's like a lion mounting a lioness or something. I like it. <laughs> next question from Bowling Memes, now that Red Dead Online has graced us with its arrival. What kind of horse attachments do you guys want to be added? Definitely rockets on either side of the horse. Gonna so you can like click the, it'll be running and then you click the rockets and <laughs> launches the horse. Yeah, absolutely. What about okay. retro rockets? So if your horse is going too fast, yeah. uh -huh. fire those guys and slow down so, them. So three rockets on either side. I never feel like I'm going fast at all in that game ever. That's why I want them. I like everything about Red Dead, except for the fact that there's so much nudity. I would like some sort of Pants, maybe like shorts that I can you put on say the horse. Bloody panties? Is that what you're talking about? I mean, they'll eventually be bloody because horses do break their Horse hymens. Their hymens yeah. And those are big old hymens. They're like umbrellas. <laughs> They're like a rubber. It's like a rubber. Like it snaps. Usually happens during gym practice. I wish, because like horses are cool, but I wish you could like ride your horse into something like a big old saddle, then that's the thing, like maybe a giant mechanical spider. Oh. oh. <laughs> and then that spider fires fireballs at Ulysses S. Grant. This is a Wild Wild Rest reference. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. For wow. uh, all the people that are watching. Disregard Phantoms, this is Wild Wild West. It had like a Burger King tie-in, so you know that's some That's of the only success. thing I knew about it, and it was just the same burger they already made. Yeah, I think they just put an onion ring on it. it. Yeah, no, they already saw that. Lawrence, do you have Whoops. an answer? Yeah, I do actually, yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> so the one thing I think Red Dead is missing is it's not really keeping an eye on the long game and how to earn a lot of money. Uh, and by that I mean merchandising, we need toys. So I want a horse that you can like pull your arms and legs in, and then the horse back opens up and a smaller horse comes out the back. And now you're riding a smaller getaway horse while your main horse oh, is going off. Like and all the, the bad guys are following that one. Okay. Oh. Yeah, like Batman. Like a little bat cycle pops out the back, yeah. but horse. Pretty cool. D the best, 97 writes, the Funhouse crew are all given a chance to go back in time and fix their most uncool moment. How do you fix it? Good luck finding one for me. So there was that one time I pissed myself playing Ninja Turtles on Game Boy in a game store. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's an uncool moment. <laughs> Well, I mean, it was a combination. Wait, is uh, that a real story that you're telling? Yes. All right. I had to wait in line and really had to use the restroom. It was my turn to play, and then I thought, what if I just piss a little bit? Yeah, Just yeah, to take yeah. the edge off. Yep. But once it starts coming, there's no stopping it. That's, yeah, that's a good you story. You can't do that. How old were you? You, I mean, you knew that you couldn't stop pissing once you started? I never tried until that point, <laughs> and I did learn my lesson. I mean, I can't top this one. I, I don't know. That, that's almost as embarrassing as when I won the 1997 X Games, but I didn't do enough backflips during the here. Moto X. That's, that's almost as embarrassing as mine when I was having sex with a woman for like three hours. Ugh. And I sh it should have been four. Oh. Should have been four. How embarrassing. She was that supermodel, right? That's right. She was the supermodel. Yeah. Guy. Wow. You got preoccupied trying to tear out her butt hairs so you can cash them <laughs> in. So I can stick them in my teeth. Yeah. Mm. Pocket those panties. Remember guys your own used to walk fans? around with coin things and he'd click out yeah. the coins? Uh -huh. Whatever happened? <laughs> <laughs> Why they were all pedophiles? Where did that come from? What are you talking about? I made the noise yeah. sound. The, the arcade guy? <laughs> yeah, you go ka ching ka ching. And who needs a penny? Ka ching. You do that. Coolest guy in town, right? He's got his pager no. and his coins. No, he wasn't now cool. it's that guy who clicks whenever you walk into a club. Why do they do that? When, yeah, when it burns down, 300 people die. Yeah, we know how many people burn to death. There's a Raiju the Kaiju. China has just come out with designer babies. What? What traits from each housemate would. Be put in to make the ultimate baby. Rockets. I'd put rockets all over them. Rockets of fire, rockets that slow them down and speed them up. Unbreakable hymens. <laughs> Iron clad. Wow. Steel hymens. I'd give them my extremely wide, passable urethra. Okay. Once yeah, a drippy yeah. urine starts coming out this guy, there's no stopping it. I'd strap them all up with little coin things. So that way, if anyone needed to change yeah. from their change, so they could get skin. it. <laughs> they always have change. Right out, then pop it right out. How much anyway. is this baby? Like 35 bucks? <laughs> it's an expensive baby. It's from China. Next question from 15 gigatons. It's time to get ready for the holiday season. What will be on each of your Christmas cards that will go out to your friends and family? I mean, probably my exposed anus. Uh, that makes sense. Every, it's like a Where's Waldo. It's always me with my ass cheeks spread, <laughs> turning around. They're like, did you find it? I'll call my mom. Did you find it? She's like, yeah, it's the whole thing. <laughs> Mine's gonna be a picture of me underneath the tree opening up a gift from Adam Kovic. 
And I'm holding it up as bloody paintings. Oh! <laughs> See, I always greetings. Wanted, always one of these. Not, that's not the present. <laughs> oh, it's Phantoms. I yeah, apologize. Yeah, it's the DV, one of the few copies that they print every year. Uh, I haven't seen Social Network yet, but I think I can be uh, a really cutthroat it business. It says yet. <laughs> it came out a thousand years ago. <laughs> no, I, it's on his list. It's I on guess. my DVD queue. Yeah, Got it. Okay. I'm going to print out a QR code that when you scan it, takes you to a smell vision of Adam Soil panties. Nice. Oh. Mm. Undercut him using tech. I don't know. It's like vinyl. At some point, the consumers are always gonna come back to that hard media of actual soil paint. We'll see. You know what we could do? We could send all of these cards right. through the mail <laughs> using uh -huh. stamps.com. I've got news for you. We live in the future. Everything is on demand. Your movies, your comics, even this episode of Open House. So why would you accept anything less from your postage? You don't have to with stamps.com. Forget the walk of shame to a post office to buy one measly stamp you need to send that last minute Christmas card. Stop hoarding away a full ream of forever stamps you might never use. Head to stamps.com to buy and print real US postage for any letter or package. Don't know the exact postage required for your shipment? No worries, because stamps.com will send you a digital scale to ensure you're paying the exact amount every time. Here at Funhouse, packages are always coming and going. Say I want a male achievement hunter, a smelly old shoe is a prank, but don't want to subject the innocent patrons of the post office to my acrid antics. Well, with stamps.com, I don't even have to leave the office. It's so simple and convenient, I can barely breathe. Or, or is that the foot odor? Either way, right now you can use promo code OPENHOUSE for this special offer, a four week trial which includes postage and a digital scale. So don't wait. Go to stamps.com before you do anything else. Click on the radio microphone at the top of the homepage and type in O-P-E-N-H-A-U-S. That's stamps.com. Enter Open House. You guys know what else? It's episode 200 what? of Open House. John has a trick. Oh, do, you, oh, do the trick we talked about for do 200. Trick, John. I told you it was going to be special. Scoliosis. That's why he doesn't talk. They're like, wow, you can turn into a drug. He's like, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> oh. 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 Hold on. They say that the clitoris continues to grow years after you die. If you can't find the clitoris, that's how you know you're really bad in bed. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's going to find you. I don't know Omar at all. So. Well, you should nice learn to get to know him. Go talk to him right now. Go on, Barbara. Go, go, go have a conversation. Go no. Oh. Don't say anything to him. Yeah, so don't say anything, but get to know him better. You queef yeah. on him? Good. Does Lord of the Rings have nudity or sex? Yeah, when Sam Sam gets back from Mordor during the scouring of the Shire, he really gives it to Rosie. Yeah, there's that weird orgy they scene at the end of Return of the Bam! Say that. Yeah, it's like he just I'm he's like talk about that. he's like. Oh, Rosie, it's been so long since I have been here in the Shire. Why does he sound like a oh, Master. Oh, <laughs> Master like Frodo. Oh, oh, Master Frodo. Oh, I'm going to the room for a second. I got to really rail this hobbit ah. pussy. You're an immigrant, so you might have to ask. Should I go? Oh, we're asking her to leave? We might have to ask you to leave. I leave. We should yes, build a wall too. around her desk. Oh! <laughs> Well, no, hold on. <laughs> she can stay as long as she's okay with getting grabbed and molested. I'm holding you to it. Myself in every role. Thank you for writing. <laughs> Damn, we can move on. Me. It's me, Princess Leia. <laughs> Ooh, stop fucking me so hard, me. I would give Big Bird an eating disorder. Does uh, he? So he, he gobbles down bird seed and then he gags himself. Oh, oh no. God. No, I write the comics. <laughs> I'm the CEO. Make the gum harder, less tasteful. That's the beauty about Bazooka Joe. <laughs> David Bowie's ass would smell like that's ginger what I mean. and sparkles. That's what I mean. No. I think it, it would be magic. <laughs> oh man. So if you ever ask Bruce, like, why don't you ask me a question? Where's the nearest Hooters? Fuck off! The problem is that we need the green screen for Omar. Mm -hmm. Omar uses it now because he gets so depressed in the, in the office that he needs to pick me up. So yeah. he, he always has Hawaii in the background. He has Hawaii in the background and cheers depressive. him up. My name would be, uh, uh, Tommy Steele! Uh, sp 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 Spunky Brewster. I'd be the Schling. They call me James the Ripper. Uh, Sex mm. Swing. Sex Swing! Yeah! Ooh. 
I don't have a favorite killer. Yeah, you do. Second. Uh, Ted Bundy. What's there his name? Right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Ted Bundy. Come Maybe they deserve some... to get their brains eaten. <laughs> my right hand or yeah. my left? No, your right hand. You do the motion. The secret handshake motion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's it. Uh -huh. You just do that. Now faster? Yeah, and then you go faster, and if they keep up, you know they're a funhouse fan. <laughs> I would, my eyes would dart open, I'd sit up, and my mouth would be gone, like in the Matrix. Oh. And then I'd look around, and there'd be a mouth on a table, and I'd go, and I'd pick it up, and then the mouth would open, and a tiny baby lamb would plop out of it. And it'd be really, really bloody. And then it would open its mouth and go, Kojima. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're. <laughs> and there were like 400 or 500 like uh, armed soldiers that were brought in with like tanks to clear out like the Toronto streets. Wow. And Shooting the snow. The mayor was so proud, but the rest. <laughs> <laughs> the it keeps coming back. <laughs> <laughs> My ingredients. It's mostly sugar. Uh huh. Destiny. Like high fructose corn, corn syrup. Yeah, a, a Destiny video game you Copy throw in there. Copy the game. Yeah. Some sriracha. cat hair. Yeah. Cat hair. Sriracha. 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 And then I come out, but everybody's different. Most or of the comments are just that people are already asking in the thread. Most of them are just spool writing. Hey, can you guys pay me more money? Most hey, like, why do I have to edit this piece? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> hey, do we have to come to work on Wednesday? I just don't think we want to have to raise anything or be responsible for it. Ooh. So if we could just like pass our DNA a on, a lab could put it together, yeah. make a superhuman or something, raise it in the military, and then we don't have to worry about it, and later it comes and finds us and murders us. But what's in my butt? Oh, let's get John Rising to host this. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you get put under, right? And they put something in your butt. And so then you get a hood pulled off of you. There you go. Show them what's in that butt. <laughs> They could put poop in your butt. Don't call me the diner guy. Bruce, um, sorry. You hired, you hired, you said when you hired Danny, you said we need the oh, diner guy. He lied on his resume. Yeah. Uh oh. Did, what did, did you lie on Who? Um, my age. I, I know. Elder Wing, meet me in the hallway, I'll tell you later. What? Look at his eyebrows. <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? What's he got planned? <laughs> Is he gossiping he or? <laughs> He just has to go to the bathroom. Nope. Careful. He almost fell over. Bye. He might not be coming back. I wasn't going to steal it. You're not going to call the cops? What kind of a deal? Not yet. Every half hour, we're going to kill the lights. Uh, and then I'm going to murder somebody. Okay. okay. And then the lights go back up. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's not a who done it. That's a you done it. Yeah. Well, no, but they won't know. They won't know. As you know, we've been there, and every ride has uh, like the gyroscopic arms. So you'd be sitting there, and as you're editing, so you're moving around. <laughs> that sounds like yeah, fun. You're flying, and I got sick on every single one of those rides. And I'm gonna install a human ass onto a dog so that it can fart funny. Yes. And Meg Ryan walk up, and Tom Hanks. Oh, hey! And he he that joins Tom in. Hanks? I was doing tackling drills with my best friend, and I broke his leg. Oh, and I walked shit. away totally fine. Oh, How yeah. did he walk away? Uh, he limped. <laughs> uh, I also have never broken a single bone in my body. Boom! Ah! Gnarly! That's pretty yeah. gnarly. You, you need to go on another Disney cruise. No, I don't want to do that. I don't like Disney that much. Hey, hold on, Bruce. Yeah, yeah. Bring your mom into the room for this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is something you can share. <laughs> Go get her, we'll wait. So then what you should do is you should also masturbate, but then make sure you guys are in separate rooms. With thin walls. So then that way you can, <laughs> uh, after, afterwards, after everybody's done and had their, had their fill, uh, then you guys can kind of like come together. That's not what I mean to say. <laughs> say it sounds like you already did. It's an arcade, got uh, all the Pac-Man machines and stuff, and then it's got a little Tinder hookup area in the corner and maybe like a little sexting nook. So all the 14 year olds, <laughs> Can come to my place and do all their illegitimate illegal shit. What a bunch of fourteen year not illegal. sexing I, at your store. I just imagine Lawrence in the security room, like watching from security yeah. cameras. I gotta make like, sure nothing yeah. object, like abjectly illegal. Is going on. Oh, there he goes. Oh, wow. I'd ask Bruce, where are all these pills on your desk? <laughs> 
Oh, you, got no you don't have to answer that. You don't, that, you don't have to answer that. Pink already put the juice here, Mary. I did. It's ecstasy. Oh, that's, oh, how you're well, that's happy. cool. And one for the chick stand next to me. That's what all the rave music has been do, about. We should take one of those and then we'll do the rest of Open House on ecstasy. Uh, next question from Not Chol. Me. Insert my golden rod into his restraining bolt. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I jam it in, he pops the Death Star plans all over my face. It hard cuts to him fucking a, a mannequin <laughs> in his head, and then it rolls credits. I, I, we did have that question because, what is it, at, in the morning she turns back to mannequin, at night she's woman. If you're in her, in between, yeah. what happens to you? Does it just chop it off? No, no plastic like, hardens around your dick, so then yeah. you can't separate. Interesting. I don't know enough about WWE. Can we pick a different subject? Maybe no, you don't I really know, know that much about anything that we answer here. Come here. We made up a whole story about how the accounting for YouTube works. Is this how Chris Benoit oh, killed his family? Oh, man. Out of nowhere! Cool. The, uh, just honest answer, here's the thing. Who just pooped? Um, when you put in stuff like themes, it makes it really easy to put in jokes because it's the same joke every single week. Uh, the Game of Thrones thing went on for too long. Ever? 10 weeks. 15. 11 weeks. Yeah. I think oh, 15, 15 weeks? weeks? Um, 15 weeks, so uh, I'm trying to find something else, so I don't have to come up with any funny jokes. I can just use the same joke over and over again. Dyson Sphere. That's the hard truth answer of the week. Chris Benoit. Can we do the Dyson Sphere question of the week? Oh, I would man. force Superman to uh, watch all sorts of Batman themed pornography, <laughs> raise him to love Batman, so that Instead of the travesty, we had Batman vs. Superman to be the world's greatest romantic comedy. Batman in Superman. That's good too. Well, you have to go sign up for longer and do the look. You're holding a look. You gotta do the look. Yeah. You gotta be like, you see Lawrence's look? Nice! That was oh, real good. Did it. So do normal, normal face. Now at least give him a prompt and he'll do a look. Lawrence, your thighs are looking mighty plentiful in those shorts today. Whoa! Oh, that was a little much. So common misconception that we don't love money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Gather the bills. Woo! The the great wrestle off. Yeah. And Lawrence won. I would like to do Guy Fieri because then we could have him and Lawrence wrestle and then we'd have a gun and we could only shoot one of them but we wouldn't know who is who. Lawrence, you gotta win. You I'm, gotta the, I'm win. the real Guy Fieri, know me? Well, you would say I wanna, I'm the fake Guy Fieri. Because He'd come you in say, with so, so much chili packed in his beer that it would act like an adhesive whenever we're wrestling. <laughs> oh, yeah. gross. I, I heard if he bites you, you become Guy Fieri. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know that. Pick Kirby. Uh, because Kirby will swallow anything I give him. Sucks uh -huh. and blows. Is it him or her? It's definitely a him. It's a him, okay, yeah. Is it? Th isn't there a Ms. Kirby, too? Only if he inhales a woman. <laughs> what are your favorite movie quotes? Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. I love that quote, that's a good one. Dead or alive, creep, you're coming with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is this, some kind of suicide squad? <laughs> to projection-based clothing. Oh. So there's a little cart with a projector on it, but it shines the clothes onto your body, mm. which means it's always form-fitting. Just covered in razors. As you're uh, playing, you can be just shaving your body. <laughs> this moment. I can't be funny like you guys. I just, I'm the straight man. <laughs> hey, ooh, that's not a drink. <laughs> uh, I feel like Don would absolutely have to be a wise man. Oh, thank you. But I don't know if he'd be frankincense. No, he'd be a wise guy. Oh, like, hey, what? hey, what do you got, a baby here? So is there a baby oh, whining around here somewhere? A combo bidet hair dryer. So it's going to spritz your asshole down, dry it up. Your butthole's going to be so puckered clean, you won't want to leave and mess that thing up. Which one of you two uh, pays more rent? I pay all the rent. Ew, 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 ew. It's a tough Hold one. On, I'll go get her. Yeah. There's a lot of them. We can just shout. Alana! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry guys, are you working? We made him. That's the problem. I am I. People often think I'm real, which I think is strange. You're a hologram? Yeah. Projection AI. What? Andy Dick would pop over and go, what are we doing here? Are we being <laughs> and, then, and then John Lovitz would stumble in and they'd start a fist fight because he's responsible for Phil Hartman's death. I would love to see two guys kissing more often than not. And uh, I've decided that I'm going to break that ground today. Okay. Only us. 
<laughs> All right. Because he says that like uh, every day. Says, he, he says, says that, that like, like every, every day. day. Oh, and they got a lease. Sniped ya. All right, do me. I really like to wrestle. But like stupider. But, uh, da, da, wrestling? That's uh, it. Well, you sound like an idiot. <laughs> People love baseball. Hunter Pence would have a bobblehead of Matt Peak that he'd hide in the background. Oh, yeah, that'd, be, that'd so be great. Cute. That'd be so cute. When he's doing steroids, fucking bitches. That's cool. Comes <laughs> just like this! Oh, I hate when he screams. <laughs> yeah. I'm like okay. the Dreamcast. Uh, I, I can do a lot of fancy things, but I'm underappreciated in my own time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I think that The Phantom Menace, the mistake with it was that it was one film. I'd like to make that a franchise, That's The a Phantom idea. Menace, and have stretched that out to three movies. More yeah, politics. Cause, cause like, what, yeah, the second one's just gonna be just the politics. That's what, real good. What about the sixth one? The sixth one? What happens? That's just, one? that's about Shami just getting it on her own the, without, because it. it's Christmas themed, right? Gotcha. The, yeah, yeah. The conception, no, no dicks. Who would you play? Shami's fingers. Oh. <laughs> Every <laughs> single one? Wow. Every single one. <laughs> that's I'm multi Computers can I, do I anything. I play four, five different things. They were going after me like crazy. Hey. They're all over me. Guys, vacation is hard. It really is. <laughs> Look at this one. I didn't even see this one until I got off the goddamn plane. Right. I'm coughing my brains out over here. I'm waking up like the crypt Keeper every right. four hours. Let's go back. The <laughs> intro will be when at least spit into the trash can. Sure. Right, first question. <laughs> I'm gonna grab Elise to get sure. the next question. Here, hold on. It's gonna pummel your your pelvis into oblivion. No one's gonna do anything anymore. Ew. They're gonna strap themselves into the fuck bot, and then they're just gonna die of starvation and dehydration. Go oh, 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 do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! <laughs> Come over there! Ah! Try and get a woman somewhere. Uh, taming it would be tough though. Uh, I have this trick where I pretend to be nice, so I give them a lot of compliments. I ask them whatever they want. I get it for them. He then puts a saddle on them and breaks them in. Great Wall of China, let's take that fucking shit down. China it's wanted to. Been holding out the Mongols forever. <laughs> I say we got better tech now. Let's just bomb it. Badger would. And it's stuck to the, each one's each one's uh, pants. Oh god, on their on their crotch, <laughs> and that's why they call him the Vag Badge. We did it. We kicked out of Shemu. We did. It. What the fuck are you doing? I was just tapping my thigh. You pervo. I can feel your butthole. Just like, I think so. Doing that, like, yeah. yeah, it wasn't like, we love Jesus, like, bring him into our lives. It was like, I think I kind of want to fuck him, like literally put him inside you can't me. can't have so, him. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can never have him. Yeah. I was very young, it was confusing. So you gotta get her crucifix. <laughs> nice. Both so two humps <laughs> equal one rider. <laughs> and then yeah. both of you have to sit. And we'll, then we'll we, be we facing would, each we other. We would sit yeah. on the top and then we'd slide down and our legs would cross. Grab his tongue, pull it all the way. Pull it. I can't, even, I can't even get to it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Why is that a positive attribute? I don't know. Hello, I world. Burr, 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 burr. Did it really <laughs> magnifies your eyes? I know. Lean in closer. <laughs> Lean in closer. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you look like you, you didn't like know where it was. Too. Everybody will have evolved into like the perfect evolution of humans, which I guess will be me. it will be a bald man, obviously, who's super ripped, and he loves America. <laughs> uh, Elise? I'm good at impressions. Go ahead. Uh, who do you want me to do? Do okay. Melissa McCarthy. Oh. Which Melissa? way is the river? <laughs> That's Chris That's Farley. That's pretty good. Oh, You're doing Chris that, Farley. I'm the boss. I'm the boss and everybody knows it. No, that's, that's Chris good. Do Melissa McCarthy. Do Miss, <laughs> Melissa McCarthy is Chris Farley as Shrek. <laughs> hey, donkey. It's the same thing. This was the big moment from the trailer. She has to oh, go God. under the laser. Yeah, she's got to tuck her ass she's under like the laser. She's like arching her butt. Yeah. We would all watch entrapment over and over on repeat to, pra to practice and oh, yeah, learn yeah, how to do that. Watch out. Yeah. Where did that just start? Just leave him by the dumpster for an eager reader. For Matt Peak to come. <laughs> Say, hey, free books! Oh, a book! <laughs> kill the baby, though. I don't know if you know that. The baby might kill him, though. Oh, well, I didn't think that? about that. The baby gets one good punch in. they feel that fallen angel frog splash. <laughs> <laughs> Mental, man. Mental. <laughs> They're like skipping through wormholes with their super light cars, and I just don't know what's up anymore. <laughs> That's how we talk. <laughs> Is Area 51 and all that a uh, conspiracy yeah, theory? Yeah, sure, stuff? why not? Yeah, I'll go with that. I just imagine I'm the end them. screen. It was a 
man all along. <laughs> I met Selma Hayek once, but I didn't realize it was her. I just thought it was a really short person that was standing in front of me in the elevator. I had like memory blankness and we both kind of stared at each other and I recognized her face. So I did the thing that I do when I recognize someone but have no idea who they are when I go, good to see you again. Did you say that for real? <laughs> she said, 